Hello and welcome to Ottawa English. Today we're looking at the speaking section of the Kale uh, test. You're going to be asked in this section to talk about a visual and so today we'll look at your pie charts. So when you get to this part of the speaking test you'll see something like this. It says your professor shows you an image Describe and explain what you see. You'll be evaluated on the content of your response, the accuracy of your language, and your ability to reference details in the image. You have one minute to prepare and two minutes to respond. Your preparation time starts on the next page. So you know that you're preparing an academic presentation that describes and explains something visual. You don't know what that is yet. You only know that it's going to be either a pie chart or a table, a graph, a bar chart. Okay? <clears throat> you know that they'll evaluate your final presentation on content, accuracy and details. You know that when you go to the next screen, you've got one minute to prepare and the clock starts immediately and then you have two minutes to, pre to present your, your presentation. So now your time has started and you see this pie chart. You're going to see that it says answer the question by speaking into the microphone. These charts show survey results of the priorities of people in two age groups. Describe and explain the information you see depicted in the graph and what conclusions can you draw. We're looking at the priorities of people. We know we're going to describe and explain them and we're going to draw some conclusions. So my presentation would sound a little like this. The diagrams reflect the findings of a survey in which people over and under 30 were asked about their priorities. By describing what mattered to the participants in percentages, the pie charts show that there are both similarities and differences between the two groups. The older group tended to focus more on achieving financial security and enjoying hobbies than the younger participants. At 25% and 21% respectively, these were prioritised by almost half of the over 30s, whereas at 11% for both, less than a quarter of the under 30s thought these mattered much. The younger group cared more about work and travel than the older survey participants. Almost a quarter of them, 22%, consider travel to be a priority, while a simple, similar number, 21%, chose work. This younger group was also more concerned about appearance than the older age group, at 18% and 11% respectively. It's encouraging to see that both groups felt family was a priority. A full 17% of both groups prioritised family over the other options. So I know that at this stage it feels very intimidating, especially if you've got an arts or language background. But if I can prepare this presentation, so can you. So what makes it a lot easier is having a very clear structure to follow. And that's what we're going to look at. So the first thing that you're going to have in your presentation is an introduction where you're going to tell your audience what it is you're going to talk about. Following that, you'll have an overview. What do these charts look like from the other side of the room when you can't see any details? And then you're going to have two main ideas that you'll develop with details. Following that, you'll draw a conclusion and set, uh, scattered throughout your presentation will be some nice sentence variety. So all of your sentences will start with uh, I.
First of all, let's look at the introduction. We're, we've, we've got these two circles. We know that it's the uh, lifestyle priorities of different age groups because we were told that in the question. And we can see that those age groups are either under 30 or over 30. So we might say something like this. The diagrams reflect the findings of a survey in which people over and under 30 were asked about their priorities. Following that, you're going to have your overview. Now, we don't want any details. So we might say something like, by describing what mattered to the participants in percentages, the pie charts show that there are both similarities and differences between the two groups. Because across the room, that's all you can see. You can see that the red is a little bit smaller in the second circle. You can see that the blue is a little bit bigger in the upper circle. Now we go to our main ideas. As you're speaking about this uh, older age group and the, the larger portions, you want to make sure that you introduce your main idea with a topic sentence. Just like if you were writing a paragraph, you would have a topic sentence that announces what the paragraph's about. You're doing the same thing here. You know, you, I'm going to be talking about the older group. And then once you've said your topic sentence, then you can add your details. Okay, so as you're going through uh, and developing your ideas, you want to make sure that you talk about all of the categories in the circles. And so here we've talked about financial security and we've talked about hobbies. Now we're going to go into our second paragraph where we're talking about the younger group. So the younger group cared more about work and travel than the older survey participants. Almost a quarter of them, 22%, considered travel to be a priority, while a smaller number, 21%, chose work. This younger group was also more concerned about appearance than the older group, at 18% and 11%, respectively. So there's your topic sentence. You've announced what it is this main idea is about, and then you develop that with your details. And you're going to make sure you've, you've mentioned each of the categories. So now we're going to add work, travel, and appearance. And now you're ready for your conclusion. We've got one category left that we haven't mentioned, which is family. So we're pulling that into our concluding remarks. It's encouraging to see that both groups felt family was a priority. A full 17% of both groups prioritised family over the other options. That takes care of your conclusion and that takes care of the last of your categories. So in amongst this, we want to make our presentation sound interesting by having lots and lots of sentence variety. So you can see that we've got several comparisons. We've got several conjunctions. We've got participles and gerunds sprinkled throughout. We've got lots of noun phrases that make it much more interesting than the under 30 said, the over 30 said, the under 30 said, the over 30 said. You really, really want to avoid doing that. Okay, so what you're doing, and don't be intimidated, follow the structure. You're looking for an introduction that gives the, your audience an idea of what you're going to talk about. You're going to give an overview of the picture. What does it look like from the other side of the room? There are no details. You're going to talk about one main idea and then a second main idea introducing them with a topic sentence and developing them with details. And then you're going to have a conclusion that 
make some concluding remark and sprinkle throughout you'll have some sentence variety that makes your presentation sound interesting. If you're preparing for Kale and you'd like some help, I'm more than happy to offer some tutoring. I also run some workshops that you can check on my website at ottawaenglish.com. On that website, I also offer writing and speaking correction. Call or text me at 613-614-6460. And if you're about to take your test, best of luck. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.